Lisa, you've just finished your keynote address. What's the biggest thing you're hoping that the participants will take away? Oh, just that they understand that they're all leaders really back in their associations and I think you know, our connection, the diamonds with the grassroots, hopefully those two areas were I hit on and um, also wanted to make them feel part of our journey, which they were. They probably didn't know, but they are part of our motivation that helps us to be the best in the world. Tanya, we're here at the Biennial Conference. We're a couple of sessions in. What's one of the biggest things you've learnt already? Um, I just think interpretation of the rules, um, some of them, yeah, because they hadn't been really released as yet to our regional, we hadn't, we've only had basically one round. Um, so just that little bit of extra guidance, I think, because I did the international rules session this morning, and as I said, that was just basically just clarification, so it was really good. Rob, what were you hoping to get across to both the athletes and the coaches watching on during this high performance coaching session? I think what we're really trying to get across is that uh, you probably can never do enough of really um, probably what most people might consider easy like just basic work but like catch, catch throw you can never do enough of and we're just trying to go that you know you, you, we want high quality and uh, and really good intensity on it so that was probably the, the focus around whenever you train you want to train like you play um, and that you can just keep, you just need to keep keep working at it, keep working at it because you can never get, you, you can never do enough of it. So it's probably a simple message but um, it's about getting it right. Emily and Karen, we're here at the Biennial Conference. What's been your highlight so far? I enjoyed the coaching session with Lisa Alexander before and the, the first one we did without the new rule changes. They've been my favourites today. What about you? Uh, just to be different, the governance section. <laughs> <laughs> so no, they did a brilliant presentation in there. Moni, you were just part of the community engagement and inclusion panel. One of the last things discussed was, you know, your one big tip for it and what was mentioned was trust, support, communication. Can you elaborate a bit more on that? Yeah, well it does come down to trust and honesty and communication when it comes to not just the Indigenous or the Polynesian group, it's pretty much any, any kid that's coming through to the system. Um, you need to earn their trust and they need to earn your trust as well. So having that real family communication, or that real family um, environment and community will help, I guess, those young kids coming through feel more comfortable and show their ability and, and uh, communica communicate back as well. So having that trust is from a kid growing up to senior level um, will help them through, I guess, you know, personal development as well. Yvonne, you've just wrapped up your first session at the Biennial Conference. Can you tell us what you've shared with the participants today? Yeah, I love sharing knowledge. Maybe it's at the stage of, of my coaching career and I love coaching seminars and just relating to coaches. So I guess it's a bit more about space marking and uh, I know that it's something that I'd always introduced and not just uh, zones but also just off marking of the players. And I know the Australian way is a one-on-one -on -one defence but you know when you've got a, a tall uh, shooter there or you've got a, a fast player you have to have the alternatives as well. So I just like sharing knowledge with whatever country you're from.